All right, guys, so this morning I'm going to look at how you can create these connector lines between elements using Bricks Builder. Um, it's not actually as difficult as it uh, may seem, but uh, it does require a little bit of custom CSS, uh, which is my preference anyway. So looking at the structure here, we've got a, a container at the top here, so we have a section there, a container. On that container, I've just got a class or creator called cards centerline uh, but without anything selected on that container all i've done is set my cross axis center take that off it's all on the left go right center etc that's all there is at the id level on this okay um i've then come i'm going to come back to some other settings on this actual class soon and under that i've got a card and on that card i've got a bem name card centerline underscore underscore card uh, I'm using a div because I don't want it to go full width. Um, so I'm using a div, which means I've got to manually set it to flex. I've got to manually set it to. That's pretty much all I have to do on that card, except for a little bit of styling where I've gone to the background here, changed my padding uh, background, put a box shadow on it. So just typical styling of a card. So that's pretty much all there is on that card itself. And then I've just duplicated that out three times and just changed a little bit of the content little bit different that's as simple as the structure gets okay so where does the magic happen to give us this uh this line so what i've done here is to keep it simple and keep it easy to manage instead of going into the uh bricks ui and changing settings for your pseudo selectors and whatnot here it makes more sense for me to put that in a single CSS tab so on this card center line class style in my css that's my css there to make this all work so all i'm doing is on the root of my cards in line i'm adding three variables which is my card gap uh, card line width and sorry the line width color we watch the ui here if i make that uh, bigger so if i make that say 80 pixels get wider apart but the line cracks them okay so that's Simple as that, so I'm going to add, make that 50 pixels. Uh, my width, I can make that uh, 10 pixels wide. I can make it one pixel wide. I can make it um, 130 pixels. Whatever it is, whatever effect you want. Just by changing this one variable, you can change that. I've got a simple line color variable at the moment. It's orange. This, if you're using a framework, you can use, uh, use variables here. I've got ACSS installed, so I'm going to put var of my secondary. Uh, if I spell that correctly, it would work. Okay, so what I'm doing is setting this line color variable to point to my secondary color variable from ACSS. Simple as that. Only three variables that I need. Uh, now I'm going to come back to the rest of this, but what I'm doing in there is once I've defined these variables, so the card gap here is the first one I'm going to use. I'll go to my content on this card center line. All I'm using is var card gap to give me that gap between uh, the um, cards uh, that's pretty much all i'm using on that um, the rest of it is to do with the actual card element so if we look at that i've got my card centerline card so one of these I'm sending the position to relative because i'm going to use an after pseudo element for this uh, line connector line and then what i'm then looking at is the uh, card that is not the last of type. So this is a important bit because we don't want this line extending after the last one. But it's not the last of type. We want to add a pseudo element. We have to add content pseudo elements so we can set an empty string, otherwise it won't display. Don't put the content there. It just doesn't work. Weird thing with CSS, but that is undo. It's very strange on here, I find. It's uh I'm going to do a control Z in bricks, it seems to duplicate. Anyway, so um, anyway, so I've got to set my position to absolute. Calculate from my left. So I want to set this line to be 50% from the left of the card minus half of the line width. So otherwise, what will happen is that if I take out that uh, minus the line width there, 
the 50% is from the left of that line, so it's offset. That might be effect that you want, that's okay. Run my Z, Control Z again and see if it messes things up. It did. Weird, so there's a bricks bug there. So what's happening is that when you press Control Z, it undoes it twice. So why, I don't know, but that's a bug obviously in there. So we've got our left is 50% from the left, minus half of the line width. Uh, we then want the top of that to be 100% from the top. So that's the top there. We want it to be 100% from the top, which puts it at the bottom. And then we move at the bottom to be a calculation of minus one times the card gap. So we've got a 50 pixel card gap between these. We want the bottom to be minus 50. Does that make sense? So that's top of 100%, bottom of minus card gap down to here. And that's pretty much it. Then we've got our line width and our line color. Very, very simple, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. I What I'll do is I will copy and paste this and I'll stick it into the YouTube uh, tutorial uh, so you can use it if you wish to, uh, modify it if you wish to, but that's pretty much it on how you can create a connector line very simply between uh, vertical elements. Um, if you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.